or conspiracy theories, the truth is out there. But don't count on the government to give it to you. The Pentagon's tell-all report on the UFOs expected to be released to the public any day now after admitting that, yeah, UFOs are regularly spotted in U.S. airspace. But whistleblower Luis Elizondo is not confident we're going to learn what the government actually knows about unidentified aerial phenomena and where they came from. We can't trust the government to do most things right, so can we really expect them to be honest about flying saucers? Joining me now, former director of the Pentagon's Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program and star of Unidentified on History, Lou Elizondo is here. Uh, welcome back to the show, my friend. Thank you so much for having me back. Always a pleasure. Why do they think we can't handle the truth? Well, I don't know if it's a matter of they don't think we can handle the truth about the topic or about the dysfunction that's that's currently going on inside the Pentagon. Look, the Pentagon does a lot of things right, and it's, and it's comprised of some, some fantastic human beings. But unfortunately, about this topic specifically, there seems to be some significant amount of dysfunction where even internally the Pentagon can't get, get their story straight. Are there two camps? Is there is there disagreement here? Are there people who are like, hey, man, let's follow the evidence, and others who are like, no. We can never admit that. Leave me alone. You know, that, that's certainly possible. I mean, we just had a stunning admission that for the first time in, in, well, the history of this country, that what we're seeing is not secret U.S. technology. So for the last 30 years, there's been some conspiracies about this being some sort of secret U.S. tech and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But this week, it looks like that argument was put to bed. And really, there's only two more options left. One is it's adversarial technology, or two, it's something quite significantly different. And I think people are trying to, to wrap their heads around that right now. Do you think it's possible that the Chinese Chinese government has already developed hypersonic craft. Well, we, we know they're looking at hypersonic craft, but that's not in total to what we're seeing. We're seeing things such as, uh, you know, instantaneous acceleration and transmedium travel and low observability and, and what appears to be some sort of anti-gravity. Look, these things don't even have wings, cockpits, control surfaces, or any obvious signs of propulsion, and, and they're able to outperform anything we have in our inventory, and we're pretty sure it's not in any foreign inventory as well. We're pretty sure. But then again, we don't have any spies left in China. So who really knows? I want them to stop with the balloons. Stop saying it could be weather balloons. It's not weather balloons. It has been weather balloons for about 60 years. Why are they still going with the weather balloons? Well, because it's easy and it's convenient. What they don't realize is they're looking at a simple video. They don't have the radar data. They don't have the, the information that's leading up to the video or afterwards. And, and frankly, they're ignoring the, the observations by the pilots. When the pilots are saying, look, it's going 120 knots against the wind, balloons don't do that. Balloons, quite frankly, they, they, they flow with the prevailing wind. So uh, I think there's a lot of cognitive, cognitive dissonance going on right now. I think there's a lot of people that are, frankly, uncomfortable with the conversation. Um, and, and I think that's what we're seeing right now with, with uh, a whole spectrum of, of individuals, both in the government and outside the government. It only feeds conspiracy theories. I really think after all the country and the world has been through, especially this past year, uh, we, we really can handle some weird truths. I don't, I don't think it, it means that our country is going to be taken over and co-opted by uh, angry ETs. Uh, last thought, right. what, what do you expect to see here? Well, look, it, it, Kennedy, to be honest with you, it takes longer sometimes to remodel a, a, a household kitchen than it does to put this 180-day report together. And secondly, most of the people, you know, at the time were, were under COVID restrictions, couldn't even go to work. So I think at best what we're going to see is a big shoulder shrug. We don't know what this is. We know it's not ours and anything else is a, is a best guess, which hopefully will lead to a more long-term long effort to figure this out, uh, hopefully a more enduring capability, which frankly Congress and, and the American people deserve. All right. Lou Elizondo, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Always my pleasure. Thank you so much. We'll talk again soon because that report's coming out. All right, my dear.